Hello everybody, I'm Count Christo and welcome back. This is a Roman reclamation campaign. We are just milking the Mamluks for some of sweet, sweet ducats right now. I still want to know what happened with the event that gave us this province. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm pleased about it, but it's uh, it's interesting. So we've got, oh, this is a good song. Let me turn it up, there's a better chance you can actually hear it. Bum, bum, bum. That's awesome. Man, the, the uh, m &T soundtrack is so good. Uh, what was I thinking? Yes, so do we really need the next couple of uh, admin techs? Expansion capacity, it's good. It's not as good as, uh, as vanilla, of course. I say of course, let me go into that a bit. In vanilla, the primary restriction on expansion, if you're good at the game, is admin points. Uh, admin and diplo points for predominantly admin points for coring land and integrating vassals. That's the thing that limits you most. Manpower, aggressive expansion, all these things can be overcome much more easily than admin points. In MNT, it tends to be more manpower in my experience, at least in the mid and early game. Maybe maybe just early game actually, because if you once you get control over an area, you tend to snowball out of control with like hundreds of thousands of manpower. Because uh, when you urbanize, you just get stupid high populations in some areas sometimes. Um, of course, I've played mostly in Europe, so... I'm sure that's a contributing factor, but uh, I think, yeah, I mean, it's still good. If you're even less familiar, expansion capacity is uh, basically makes coring 5% cheaper and make overextension count 5% less. What I'm thinking is, should we core this land? Because what are we going to get from tech 10? So, because that's we're also pushing that back a bit. It's not till tech 12 that we get no idea groups. We do get another state in tech 10. I think we've got. Yeah, pretty much we've got stuff stated we want stated. Although, you know, as we expand over here... Wow, is that all one state? No, no, this is part of this state and this is part of this state. Okay, I was going to say, if that was all one state, that's ridiculous. Um, so we do want that. I think we're going to uh, we're going to do some coring. So, as I've said before, uh, we only want to core places where it's reached 50% autonomy. So coring it would actually lower the autonomy. Here... I think that's everywhere. Oh, no, here. Yeah. Don't have the uh, admin points for that one. No? It's already our core. Ah, it's not in a state, that one. Okay. Cool. So that's lowered our autonomy a bit. Quite substantially up here. Got 45% uh, more value out of this place than we were before. All right, guys, continue to train. Let's slow it down a bit. We don't need to go speed 5. Okay. So I'm upset that we couldn't finish this war before my seminar. That's okay. <laughs> I, uh, I realize if you're listening to these episodes one day at a time, uh, some of the things I say may seem weird because, you know, it's spread over many, many days for you. But, uh, yeah. The seminar was fun. It was worth making, being on time for to miss out on the Mamluk Peace deal. I was learning about, uh, where are they? There were some examples around here. Here they are. Some Sufis. <laughs> I was learning about the writings of a, a Shia Sunni, uh, Sufi, rather. Sufi mystic. Which I think is a tautology. Aren't all Sufis mystics? I could be wrong. Right. Got some Roman peasants, as always. Uh, they've got getting some traction because of the lesser noble privileges that we revoked. I think it's worth keeping this fort up, just in case the Mamluks get any ideas. Though I'm pretty sure we outnumber them and their entire alliance. No, they do outnumber us just, but uh, not by a huge amount. When we get a large enough fleet, it's going to be ridiculous because uh, blockade. We, if we like blockade all of Fars, sorry, all of Fez. Uh, we'll be able to get big peace deals out of them. Ooh, Sunni fanatics down here in uh, in Castile. I wonder if they're going to get a religious civil war. That'd be fun. Religious civil wars are brutal, both IRL and in Mayo and Texas, but more relevant. More relevantly in Mayo and Texas. So I'm very curious if we're going to be able to get uh, vassalage on Carissa. It'd be pretty funny if we did. I have to say, I think that would be a little odd if we were allowed to just vassalize a tributary. I wonder if they'd remain a tributary. <laughs> that would be interesting. New tech. Uh, we should stay ahead of time on mill tech. Get that uh, sweet, sweet army tradition. We could get more from maintaining our forts, but I just love gold too much. Uh, I thought this gave us a switchover option, didn't it? 12, 12, 12. No, it didn't. Oh, I must have just been misseeing it. I guess it was infantry shock or something. 
So uh, our army's getting quite big. How are we looking on supply limits? Yeah, we can't put this army in most places. So we must remember to split it in two when we actually go to war. Obviously, right now, I'd rather have it all together because we're drilling. It hasn't gone up much. Still just 1.4. Huh. Maybe they lowered it since I last played. They can't have done because I'm on a... My mod's not auto-updating. Interesting. How are you doing, estates? Uh, oh, yeah, you guys. You should go on siege, siege focus. Good. How are you doing, estates? Obviously, the uh, lesser nobles. A little peeved. Uh, don't want to revoke any of their estates. Uh, estates of their privileges. Are there any of these we need to get rid of? I would like to levy more manpower on them. Yeah. So I, I've decided we are going to try and let them have some privileges, so they demand them less often. So, for example, we might let the burghers keep toleration of smuggling. Well, that's so painful, though, when they're really influential. 60% tax rate. Uh, we definitely need to get rid of that one, because we need their trade income. Confirmation of Metropolitan. That one might be okay, actually. More autonomy for the burghers. I generally like having rich burghers. This manfa's probably okay. We need to get rid of the principal armor suppliers, that's for sure. The Patriarch of Constantinopolis and all the Empire of Romans. Most educated, most pious, most pious. We'll go with pious. We didn't get him. Uh, I was going to try and keep our missionary numbers up. Although, now that we no longer have pious, we have a learned religious head which actually gives us more conversion strength. Nice. I'm happy with that, actually. Yeah, one less missionary, but, but an extra 0.6% conversion strength is pretty strong. Let's have a look at some Mamelukian negotiations. They're offering peace because they're on low war enthusiasm. Not willing to give me what I want yet, though. So we will just press right on. Blockading them. It's a very low cost to blockade them. So what's the... Can I see that on the screen? Can I see the exact upkeep of this fleet? I don't know if I can. No. Whatever then, it's 8 times, uh, 8 times 0 0.09. So like, what, 0 0.7? Ish. <clears throat> 0 0.7 a month, I mean that's not nothing. But uh, we're gonna get 700 ducats out of it, so. I can't say I'm feeling too bad about it. Do 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 do. Can improve by another 10, cool. I would like to gain control over Theodoro just to help our Black Sea trade. Although our seizing of Kaffa is fantastic. Or it looks like we've renamed it to Theodosia. Cool. Would also like Tanner. Maybe we should start justifying on that because we don't have claims here. Where do we convert then? Is that down here, I think? Is it Lydia? Might have been Lydia. So making some progress here. Increasing progress every time the uh, the nationalism ticks down. Is that the only place we have unrest? No, also down here in Doris, of course. Continuing attracting artisans to Perusa. Perusa, how close are you? Oh, here, he'll tell us. It's currently going at two per year. Uh, how long does it last? Ten years? Well, ten years of growth at two is actually more than we need. <clears throat> but I do think... Let's continue the program for now, I think. Uh, and in this place, yes, we will also continue the program. Which is here, isn't it? Yeah. I really want to get our industry base back up to snuff. Uh, I want to know how production power affects goods produced. Let's have a look. We've got 86 production skill. I suspect there isn't going to be something that's going to be able to tell me, really. I think urban production skill does increase the amount you produce. I mean, surely that makes sense, doesn't it? It also couldn't be such a decimal without some kind of modifier on it. Because uh, the corporation guild produces either 1 or 0.25. So it would always have to be a multiple of 0.25 unless there was some other modifier on it. Unless it tracks uh, non-integer amounts of urban pop, of course. We will take the inflation, yes. 
inflation is trending down now from our uh, we're centralized enough to start getting rid of it I'm sad they nerfed uh, banks the banks were so overpowered in the last version where they gave you 0.25 less inflation per year it was ridiculous all right there's Carissa hey Doris is coming around to our point of view good we'll let it come around a bit more hey Mamluks care to give me all your money they do and we'll take the war operations as well. Now I'm just going to quickly go and check. <clears throat> we get everyone together. Oh, what's this? Ecclesiastical jurisdiction. So this is the event about the fact there were separate courts that administered the clergy to the common folk, and people would often try and get treated, uh, get tried under ecclesiastical law rather than, uh, rather than uh, what you call it, secular law. I don't really want anti-clericalism. Oh, it's only for two months? That's fine. We'll submit to church authority for now. I don't want to get a religious scandal. We can't, uh, can't appropriate church property anyway. Yeah, uh, give, us some, give me some anti-clericalism. That's fine. So I'm going to gather up the fleet. Gather up the fleet. I'm sorry. Slightly ineloquent today. And we're going to go and blockade Fars and see if we can get some money out of them as well. With a sufficiently large blockade. Uh, excuse me. You... Chip, just gonna come as well. All these guys are gonna kill you. <laughs> we'll wait for them to catch up. So they're gonna go blockade us. That's fine. Uh, confirmation of Metropolis. Whatever. We're gonna kill our subjects' fleets. All right, let's go. Go stop that. None of that, Mamluks. Leave Moria alone. That's fighting talk, darn it. We got there in time. Nice. <laughs> Saved our allies' ship. These guys will take a little bit of attrition. That's fine. Our glorious navy is under attack by Fez, but we drove them off. So we'll stop here. Blockade there. Oh, we actually caught some of them. Akia, Ragusa. Uh, are you Akia? Yes. Oh, come on. Get out of here, Italians. Constantly screwing with my plans. Well... You have uh, Corfu, don't you? I wonder if we could take the combined navies of Naples. Maybe not. 5 and 10 versus 25. They do have the better ships than us. Venice with their 11. Ah, the darn meddling Italians. We'll get what's coming to them. Would you hurry up and kill these guys? So, someone was saying they think some ships suddenly start taking huge damage when they run out of morale. So next time we get in a big fight, I'd like to investigate if that's true. Hey, Fez. No, we can only get it to minus four. War score on them. Okay. Well, let's go see if we blockade their capitals. That's still true. Anti-clericalism expired. Yeah, it's a very brief period of anti-clericalism, I must say. I have that now. It's 35. We are taking some attrition over here, so we must be careful. Is there any... Are there any ports in the little Gibraltar spot? Some. I'm just seeing if we can get them up to 10. If we can get them to 10 war score, then we can demand more of them. But we can't. Okay. You guys can all return back then. Re-establish. In fact, you might be able to re-establish the blockade. Well, no, it's one of you. It's probably not safe. We should stay in port. Do. Bum, bum. Bum. Dobrozhja. Truce has ended. Cool. No worries. Uh, right. So, Carissa. They won't ally us. Ally us? Ally us. Until we're no longer at war. Let's marry him. Mm -hmm. You guys. Move to blockade the Bay of Alexandria. Fantastic. And we will get this peace deal. Pardon? Mamluks making gains. All right, wait one month. I've changed their mind. I suspect you're not making gains, Mamluks. Just because it went from 22 positive war score to there we go. Now they're willing to accept again. Awesome. 21 reasons we accept. Wow, we might be able to take even more. Uh, so it looks like they are prepared to give us the same amount. Limited to, to 659, so we'll see how much they actually give us. 
But it looks like I was right. You do still want to do that. Uh, I don't think we want to do anything, any of this stuff. Because they won't accept it. Yeah, and I don't really care about breaking one of their alliances. Obviously, we'd like to humiliate them, but we're not even close to that. Uh, we'll really struggle to get humiliate done on a uh, trade war. We get 30 war score from this. And then maybe, yeah, what are we getting from blockades? Almost nothing. So we'll take this. See if we actually get 700. We didn't. Okay, good. We've learned something. So you don't get the amount that the game claims you will when you piece out uh, for money. So there is no point setting it early. That's very good to know. We will... Well, we'll actually go protect the Aegean and we'll see what happens in Egypt next month. So, continue working on Carissa. Give me that alliance. They love me, so now we're going to try and vassalize them. Bohemia would like some Contatiari. Bohemia, have I got the men for you? All oh, right, we're now actually over our uh, max rent out limit. I wonder if it calculates the drill on the units when it's renting them out. It should. I bet it doesn't. You won't do it because you can't afford it. All right, well, never mind then. Well, I mean, is there any reason not to? Even for not much? I mean, I might as well get the 36 up front, right? We don't need to declare a war yet. Do it. It means I can't drill two of my regiments right now, but that's fine. Okay, got this pile of money. Do we have the... We don't have the Corporation Guild yet in, uh, in uh, Thrace. Let's get that. I think that's what I want. We should also work towards a warehouse district. I think a corporation guild is a great investment right now, though. Ramp up our leather production. Hey, Carissa. Become my vassal. Yep, and it just breaks their relation with the White Horde. Ha! Got your vassal, White Horde. Sorry, tributary. Moria is a little peeved right now because of relative strength of vassals, I must assume. Yeah, also the uh, better diplotech than us problem. Hey, Moria. Have my claim on this place. We'll grant them our core. Pardon, that doesn't lower the liberty desire. Come now. That seems weird. Alright, well, we'll just improve with Moria for a bit then. I really don't want them to get disloyal for long or they'll start getting supported by people. We can embrace an institution. Hmm. So, do we embrace the institution? This is another great song. Listen to that. So good. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> oh god, that was close. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lots of distractions. I just nearly knocked over my bottle of water straight into the side of my PC. Mm. That would have been an ignominious end to my PC. Um, I don't think we want to take this yet. I think we want to let it spread a bit more. I mean, it's real nice, 10% production efficiency. But, I mean, it's one of the very few times this will be useful in the game. Like, there are any... How many are there? Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Only six times this actually helps. So we might as well have it. <laughs> have it help. Alright, all we have to do is get 800 more manpower and hire this guy. And we're done. No, not the master recruiter. Where do you go? The army reformer, yeah. Um, we should hire... Yeah, we have more money. Let's... Why? We should have had these guys for ages. Let's get a... Uh, four a month? You know what? We're really behind on Diplotech. Give me a level two advisor. A sheriff. Minus one national unrest. Helps with conversions. Good. Got that conversion going. Oh, he's greedy. God. He's not so good, is he? We could we could abdicate, actually. Morale of armies is nice. Don't get me wrong. Fertility is okay. Greedy sucks, though. Well advised is really nice. And this guy has better monarch point generation. Well, no, he has, it, he has as good monarch point generation, but it's more evenly spread. It's also a time of stability. You do lose 50 prestige. I say we reform the army first, and then we'll, we'll abdicate. We have made converts. Use unrest in Doris. So that's a overtime event. 
I should look into, in fact, I, I should have noticed the pop-up and noted down the event ID. Um, the We Have Made Punk Converts event basically means when, when you own a land for a long time, and I think it happens more often if you don't tolerate the locals, they slowly convert to your faith religion. So now we have a uh, small Orthodox community here. Do not burn anything. So we should be able to convert Doris a bit quicker now. Ooh, Lakia has flipped back. We could core it. Don't really want too much. Uh, let's get converting that. Yeah, so over time stuff switches to your religion. Just through them basically getting tired of not being tolerated. Bartering increases. Yeah, this is because of our high inflation. I think... Yeah, it's not a bad deal right now to do this one. So I think we will. It's only uh, eight monarch points more expensive than if we'd done it the normal way by clicking the button. So that's usually how I decide what to click on that event. If it seems like an okay deal to... Uh, to lower the inflation I tend to go that way. How long until we can take this? It's funny, you hear these vanilla songs now and it's like, oh, <laughs> I missed the Gloria 7T soundtrack. Uh, two years, cool, we can wait. How long until it next spreads to a major population center? Quite a long time here. It's getting there in uh, in Athens. Not controlled by the burgers slows it down. Yeah. Why is it not getting any spread here? Too low urban population, right? Yeah, fair enough. Do 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 do. All right, we've got Moria loyal again. Like I've been saying, we're unlikely to have many vassals beyond this lot, so. Uh, yeah, I don't feel that bad about getting these. So I'm surprised Carissa... It's very strange that Carissa just managed to just fall under us. Do you have any cores? No. Uh, you don't actually have control over this guy. He would also take vassalage, but that seems excessive. Carissa, could you claim this man for me? And that is actually just controlled directly by the White Horde. I think we'll leave this area under the control of Carissa for quite a while, I suspect. Uh, it is all orthodox, which makes it very appealing to grab. But... Uh, it's not urbanized, it's a long way from our capital. Until we get some good ports over here, it wouldn't be worth much to us. People were mentioning we could easily expand past this mountain range, all we have to do is get some good ports down here. And I completely agree, the thing is just that uh, open war with the Mamluks is very costly. And I don't really want to get engaged in that. Not to mention, look at the freaking religious strife. Majority Sunni, there's a significant Chaldean minority, and a Shiite presence, and a Dazur. Who are the Dazur? Don't know about that one. Hmm. Yeah, so until we can actually feel like we're going to be able to administer uh, Syrian, the Syrian area, effectively, I think it's be... <sighs> Go away. The lesser nobles are already disloyal. Uh, they get 20 unrest for 10 years in all their provinces. <sighs> really don't want to fight a massive... Less a noble rebellion. So, yeah, alright. Ah, that hurts. I want to really want to revoke a privilege now. We've got 100 stab, stab points stored up. Let's get rid of one of their privileges. I don't know if the fact they're disloyal, and I, this is something that I've tried to check and failed, but, uh,. They have a full tax exemption. Yeah, we can't have that. How much are they currently paying us? Their effective tax rate is probably nothing. <laughs> effective tax rate, 0%. Yeah, it's because they hate us. <laughs> yeah, whereas the greater nobles are still not paying us much. They must have some tax privileges. Burgers are giving us a fair amount. 16% of their tax income. Not bad, not bad. Uh, yeah, we're going to revoke the same one straight away. Uh, so yes, what I was saying, I'm not certain if the fact that they're disloyal makes them more likely to respond badly. Ah, shall we call? That's not ideal. Uh, dead hand of the church. Not again! We'll take a religious scandal this time. 
We can't let them get even more church influence. It's just outrageously high right now. They're furious. Of course they are. Don't celebrate yet. <gasps> we didn't get any stab hit. That's so good. Thank you, Lesser Nobles. Thank you. I'd like to revoke another one. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Winning streak. <laughs> Gotta wait five months. So it doesn't... I, I'm confused why we're being able to rent out Condottieri, let them expire, and then still not getting debuffs. I don't really understand that at all. Mm. Very strange. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, we got... We clawed back that privilege, made a huge ton of money out of the... Uh, those Mamluks down there. Is it... Are the Mamluks... Can you refer to the Mamluks as the Egyptians? Or is that ignorant somehow? Are the Mamluks actually, like, originating in Syria and took over Egypt and then moved the capital there or something? Are the Mamluks a ruling class of Egypt or do they represent, like, a majority area? Or is Mamluk just the name of a dynasty? That seems also plausible, given, like, all the Umayyad and all that people got named after dynasties. I don't know. Ottomans. The Ottomans were, like... Wait, no, the Ottomans... Osmanoglu? Is that where Ottoman comes from? I'm sure I'm mispronouncing the, the surname in it, by the way. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Whatever we should be calling the Mamluks. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.